Hey guys, Steven the Salon Guy here, and I hope you all are doing well. Now today I've got a really cool haircut for you guys. This is going to be kind of more on the creative and more advanced side. So what I'm going to be doing is taking this mannequin, I'm going to be creating somewhat of an undercut from like here to about right here. I'm going to extend this throughout the back into here, and then I'm going to actually work in this side all the way to where this front is about right here. So we're keeping the length right through here. Something really edgy, really beautiful. Anyone can really wear it if you feel confident. Um, but I'm really excited to be showing you guys this tutorial today. It's a little more advanced and it's gonna be a step-by-step. -step, so I want you guys to stick with me the whole video. So I'm ready to go, let's get started. So I just wanna break down the sectioning of what I did. So as you can see here, I've got a side part right in through here and I brush this all over and I clip this off on top. And then I have this extended down in through the back on an angle right into the nape here. So we're literally gonna take a probably number three and a half guard and we're gonna buzz all of this off. I know it's pretty extreme. We're gonna buzz all this off to about right here. And then we're gonna actually gonna start to work this shape shorter going into longer. So we're gonna take this down pretty tight into here and then create an angle working all the way to the length into the front here. So let's get started with the buzzing part of this. And then once we're done, we'll see how it looks. Okay guys, so as you can see, we've got this whole section shaved off. Now again, this is definitely, if you're feeling a little more courageous uh, and it's not, you know, for someone to wear, if they don't feel confident or they feel, you know, they're a little more conservative, this is definitely not for them, but already it looks really, really cool. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this, and this is where we're gonna start our baseline in the back. And we're gonna start to cut this kind of like on an angle, just like this. Cause remember we're working this shape all the way to where it's longer in the front. So what you want to do is you want to come in where this is pretty much close to where the guide's going to be and using no tension whatsoever, we're just going to come in like this and use our, our eyes just as a visualization, just like that. And then you can come back like this and trim that off. So what that does is it creates a nice uh, sharp line and that's, that's where your starting point is throughout this whole haircut. So we're gonna bring the next section down just like that. Comb it straight down. Now we're gonna come back and do the exact same thing. We're gonna follow the guide of where we last cut it, just like that. Now when you don't use much tension, you don't use your hands, that's when I feel you create the sharpest angles and the best lengths because once you start pulling it in you know, a variety of different ways, and sometimes it doesn't look as solid. I always say the best thing to do is have a solid baseline before you start layering it because that's what's gonna keep the foundation in of the haircut. So after this section, we're gonna start to pull everything out and we're gonna start to layer it. So cut one more section right here, and then when we're done, we're gonna come back and we're gonna start elevating from the head. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna connect this right into the bottom here. So when you pull it up like this, you're gonna see where your guide is right in through here, which basically is where you just cut everything before. So you're kind of working the shape right in, but keeping that angle. Then you're gonna pull everything straight out and you're gonna elevate it just like that. And what you're doing is you're creating just a little bit of movement right in through here. And you're gonna take your next section like this, comb everything straight down and you're gonna follow in the same manner. So take a nice, somewhat thin section, not too thin or not too thick. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna follow the same pattern, just like this, working all the way in through the side to where this whole back here is blended in to where we get to the corner. So do the whole back, and then we're gonna stop right to when we get in, right in this section, right in through here.
Now, as you can see, we're in the corner of the nape right here. And what we're doing is, this is probably one of our last sections in the back. So we're continuing to comb everything straight out like this. And now we're gonna work following the guide and following the angle. So we're creating our own shape in through here by the way we're holding it. So as you can see, I'm kind of following around just like this. And that's how you're kind of putting that shape in the whole haircut. You know, you're setting yourself up for success, really. So here's the last section right here into the corner. And what that's doing, as you can see, it's creating a nice, beautiful, tapered look down and through here, but also a nice little bit of volume right into, the, into this area right here. So now what we're going to do is we're going to connect this because now we're on this part of the, of the head. And as you can see, by the way, we cut this right in through here. All right, this blends in so nicely that all we need to do now is work this in through the front by keeping the length. So we're off to a really good start. Now we're going to work this in and then we'll look at the overall shape. Now it's time when we connect this and work this in through the length. Now in the back, I mentioned just literally combing it down and cutting it. And that's what we're going to actually do. So here's what we're going to pick up just like this. And we're not using any tension whatsoever. You want to stop, come back and comb it. That's fine. You can also take the comb and lay it straight down just like this, depending on the person's neck. Obviously it's a little bit harder on a mannequin head, but you get the idea of what we're doing. So even right in through here, the very, very front, what you want to do is you want to extend this back and over direct it slightly just like this, because that's how you're going to maintain that length. If you cut it straight down this way, you're, believe it or not, you're going to cut off this length. So the best thing to do is to comb this around. It's a nice little trick. See, look, you comb this around just like this. And when you do that, you preserve the length. So you over direct back and there, see, we're only going to cut just a little bit, just like this. And what that's doing, it's a, making sure that we're keeping that length right throughout the front. And now you can come back in and double check everything like this by holding it straight down. And any little pieces you see, just cut them right off just like that. Now I'm just gonna double check everything here. And you do that by using your hands as you can see. I'm working the shape in. As you can see, it's got a nice, beautiful look. Now you can always come back in and do any sort of dry cutting if you want, which I always recommend. And there we have it. So what I want to do now, here's the back, it's got a beautiful shape here as you can see. What I want to do now is I want to dry this and then come back in and do any sort of finishing that might need to be done. All right, I just want to go over the blow dry a little bit. Now what I'm doing is I'm using a 413 sculpting brush. This is a great brush to use. And I'm following, I'm brushing over this way and I'm continuing with the blow dryer, the nozzle and the brush like this. And what that does is it really creates a nice smooth finish like this. So you can see here. Okay, and it gives it a nice volume and helps smooth it out. And I love doing this for these types of haircuts. So let's finish the whole head like this. Then I'm gonna come in with a round brush and smooth this out a little bit more, and then we'll see where we're at. Well guys, as you can see, this is looking really, really amazing. And here's kind of, I just wanna play around with it so you can see kind of a variety of things you can do with this. So if you want to kind of camouflage this, you can, and you can kind of work this in this way, so it kind of hugs around just like that, which I think is really, really cool. And then this, of course, sweeps all the way around this way, which is very, very nice, very pretty, and it's very glamorous. I know it's extreme, but I think it's a beautiful, beautiful look. So now, I just want to do one little thing here, and I want to just remove a little bit of weight right into a, a couple of areas. And the way to go about doing this is you can do it one or two ways. You can come in just like this, and you can freehand. But you want to be careful because if you do too much of that freehand, you might start to create even more steps. Okay, so that's why visually you want to do it and just kind of gently work it through. And this way, it's you can see exactly where the heavier areas are, and that's a good way to do it. So by looking at this, it looks like right into here is a little bit heavy. So you can come in this way, and you can remove weight like that, and then comb it down. So you can see that it helped a little bit, or you can do some slide cutting, which is another method, which you're coming in like this, you're looking at right where the bulky area is, and you're just sliding down like this. I, sometimes I prefer this because you're, you're getting instant results, 
by when you start picking it up, you know, you could be changing elevation, you could be changing a whole bunch of things. So I like to do it just like this. And as you can see, I'm doing it right through the ends here. Because you don't want to start cutting in areas where you don't necessarily need it. But as you can see, it definitely, looking from this angle, it's definitely helped take away some of that weight in through here. You do a little more in the back, right in through here. And I'm always combing like this, combing and cutting, combing and cutting. Because that is great for keeping the flow of the whole haircut. And it's good as far as the technique goes too. And as you can see, I'm just using my thumb, just like that. And I think this is just about done. So again, just to break this down, I use a three and a half from here all the way all the way to the parting, right in through here. Did it all the way throughout the back on an angle like this. And then I created my baseline right in through here first. Again, see how solid that is? It's key to have that solid baseline in through here, which is, is which essential for the haircut because that's really what makes it stand out. You can see this uh, across the room, she could be standing, and you'll notice this baseline in through here. And then I started to pull everything out about right in through here and started working in through this shape right to this corner. And then we held everything straight down and worked it into the front. Again, we over-directed this, combing it back this way. This way, now, as you can see, we have that front in through here. Okay, it's better to have this longer than having it too short. And then we blow-dried it, and this is pretty much the style. You can put product in it if you want, or you can just kind of leave it like this. And this is the finished result, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Just to let you know, this is Isabella from Hair Art Products. I get all my mannequins from HairArtProducts.com, the best mannequins, I think, in the industry. So give them a call, ask for Ernesto, and tell them the salon guy sent you if you want any of my mannequins. I had a lot of fun doing this, and I've gotten some requests. Uh, I know you see me doing a lot of men's haircuts, but I love doing women's haircuts, as you can see. Again, this is very creative and very modern, so I really hope this guy, this helped you out. And uh, I've been getting a lot of requests for haircuts like this, so hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching, and stay tuned for more tutorials with the salon guy. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching my videos. It really means a lot to me. Don't forget to like, leave comments, and also subscribe. So as you can see here, I've got celebrity interviews, I've got event coverage, and also more tutorials. So don't forget to subscribe and keep watching.